The Earth's geological history presents a narrative of immense tectonic events that have shaped continents, shifted oceans, and altered the planet's appearance. Amidst this ongoing geological theater, an intriguing phenomenon is unfolding. The gradual division of the African continent into two distinct parts. This process is referred to as the East African Rift and marks a significant period in Earth's history. While the process will take millions of years to complete, it will result in the separation of present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. This radical change in Earth's landscape will come with numerous consequences, both positive and disruptive. And only time will determine if humans will be present to witness the major changes it will bring about. The Earth's Changing History Millions upon millions of years ago, the Earth bore a striking dissimilarity to its current state. The vast land masses, recognized as continents, did not exist as separate entities divided by oceans. Instead, they coalesced to form a singular, colossal landmass known as Pangaea. However, the question arises, how did this monumental landmass eventually fracture to give rise to the continents that grace our maps today? While the answer may seem intricate, its coherence emerges through the lens of plate tectonics. Tectonic plates, assuming a pivotal role in this grand geological narrative, exert a profound influence on the Earth's metamorphosis. The theory of plate tectonics, a cornerstone of contemporary geoscience, expounds that the Earth's lithosphere, the outermost layer, comprises an assembly of substantial tectonic plates. These plates, engaged in ceaseless movements spanning over 3.5 billion years, constitute the fundamental mechanism responsible for shaping the Earth's contemporary topography. The interplay of tectonic plates carries sweeping implications for the structural makeup of our planet. When these plates shift, collide, or interact, a cascade of geological processes is initiated. These processes serve as the very mechanisms that have painstakingly molded our planet's topographical features over epochs, encompassing the division of continents and the emergence of towering mountain ranges, Africa's division into two continents. To fully grasp the profound truth behind this occurrence, we must start by comprehending how and why Africa is undergoing a split into two. This geological phenomenon, responsible for the separation of the continent, is known as rifting. It takes place when a single tectonic plate tears apart, giving rise to two or more tectonic plates that are separated by divergent plate boundaries. This process can be traced back at least 138 million years when South America and Africa underwent a division, evolving into distinct continents. If we examine the western edge of Africa and the eastern coastline of South America, a remarkable fit emerges, akin to two interlocking puzzle pieces. This visual alignment serves as a testament to the former unity of these continents. Over the past 30 million years, the Arabian plate has been in motion, gradually moving away from Africa's landmass. This movement has catalyzed the formation of significant geographical features like the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The rift itself is a fracture or rupture in the Earth's surface arising from the dynamic motion of these tectonic plates. This process unfolds prominently in East Africa spanning countries such as Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, and Ethiopia, and has sculpted a vast valley known as the East African Rift Valley. A monumental chapter lies ahead, linked to the East African Rift System. This massive crack, measuring approximately 56 kilometers or 35 miles in length, made its debut in Ethiopia's desert in 2005. It ranks among the world's most significant rifts, stretching thousands of kilometers across numerous African nations, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. This seismic shift will initiate the formation of a new ocean, the planet Sixth. Seismic data reveal that the rift's emergence mirrors similar tectonic processes transpiring beneath the ocean's depths. This colossal crack was found along the juncture of three tectonic plates, the African Nubian, African Somali, and Arabian plates. These plates have been gradually parting ways over an extended period. Spanning over 3,000 kilometers, stretching from the Gulf of Aden in the north to Zimbabwe in the south, the East African Rift Valley bifurcates the African plate into two segments the Somali and Nubian plates. 
the Nubian plate predominantly underlies the African continent, while the emerging Somalian plate represents the portion breaking away from it. While the process of rifting has been ongoing for some time, it garnered global attention when a significant crack emerged in the Canyon Rift Valley in 2018. This event would result in substantial evacuation costs for the affected countries. Yet, it offers significant advantages. Previously, landlocked nations would gain access to the sea, leading to reduced international logistical expenses and the emergence of shipping and fishing industries. Harbors will connect these countries directly to the world, transforming their economic landscapes. Countries like Congo, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi have heavily relied on Kenya's port of Mombasa and Tanzania's port of Dar es Salaam for sea freight. Access to the sea also opens the possibility of connecting to subsea internet cables, potentially fostering technological development. Undoubtedly, the emergence of new coastlines will unlock myriad economic opportunities, ushering in more maritime activities and potentially shorter trade routes. However, an essential question looms. Will this advancement truly benefit Africa, or might it empower foreign control over maritime routes? In the distant future, will these two continents remain linked or follow the path of North and South America? Could trade bind them into a single entity, and what security implications might arise? Furthermore, Africa faces the most significant challenges regarding displacement, impacting more countries than any other continent or region. A 2015 United Nations Environment Program report on displacement and the environment revealed that over 15 million people were internally displaced in Africa. As the plates continue to split, communities, settlements and ecosystems will be disrupted, leading to habitat changes and environmental degradation due to climate shifts. Some species will face extinction or endangerment, while rapid urbanization strains natural resources, leading to scarcity in water, energy and food. Despite the drama of sudden fault appearances, rifting is a gradual process spanning millions of years, often unnoticed. The East African departure will merely be another chapter in this extensive geological storybook. Africa and India The African continent stands as a crucial cornerstone of Earth's narrative, holding significance not only for humanity, but for all life forms. This landmass shelters a majority of the planet's remaining unique species of flora and fauna, a testament to its ecological importance. With a youthful population of 1.4 billion, Africa constitutes around 20% of the global populace. Its extensive land expanse, diverse ecosystems and abundant natural resources position it to shape the future of our world. A glance at the world map reveals an intriguing alignment. The eastern coast of Africa almost perfectly matches the western coast of the Indian subcontinent. This geographic puzzle raises questions, which we'll explore shortly. Additionally, it's noteworthy that India, as a country, shares parallels with the continent of Africa. India, too, boasts a massive population exceeding a billion, characterized by its youthfulness. While its land area is smaller than Africa's, India doesn't fall short in terms of biodiversity. A multitude of flora and fauna thrives across various environments, from the arid Thar Desert's heat to the lofty Himalayan peaks. The Himalayas, Earth's tallest mountain range, wield a substantial influence on India's environment and climate. Yet their reign as the world's highest peaks might not endure indefinitely. The Historical Tapestry of Africa, India, and the Himalayas Let's journey into the past and uncover the intricate interplay of history that has shaped the present, connecting Africa, India, and the Himalayas. Around 250 million years ago, as the supercontinent Pangaea commenced its fragmentation, an intriguing tale unfolded. During this epoch, the landmass that presently constitutes India was firmly attached to what we now recognize as East Africa. As Pangaea rifted apart, the tectonic underpinnings beneath India embarked on a transformative journey. This journey led to the gradual detachment of India from the African mainland, sending it on a northward trajectory towards Asia. The corroborative evidence of India's erstwhile connection with Africa lies in their coastlines, which even today exhibit a remarkable fit. The northward voyage of India towards Asia was no swift undertaking. It unfolded over an expansive timeline spanning over 150 million years. Approximately 50 million years ago, a pivotal juncture was reached. The Indian tectonic plate initiated its collision with the Eurasian plate. This monumental collision between India and the Asian landmass marked the genesis of the Himalayas. 
The mechanism driving this geological transformation is elegantly simple. When two colossal tectonic plates converge, their dynamic interaction triggers an upward movement of the land above them. The immense force generated by the plate's collision propels the landmass skyward. The Himalayas' emergence is attributed to this very collision. The relentless pressure of India's massive plate against the Asian plate sculpted the majestic mountain range. Remarkably, this geological dance persists to this day, with the Himalayas continuing to rise gradually at a pace of one centimeter annually as the tectonic plates remain locked in their intricate embrace. The Himalayas' distinction as Earth's loftiest mountain range is rooted in the convergence's timing and magnitude. This collision, occurring relatively recently on the scale of plate tectonics, assumes significance. Furthermore, the collision involved a fusion of massive tectonic plates, further amplifying its impact. The Himalayas stand not just as a testament to the forces that shape our planet, but as a dynamic theater of ongoing geological change. Reuniting Africa and India While ancient philosophers may have lacked scientific knowledge about the Earth's complex movements, their instincts could have aligned with greater forces, as their affirmations resonate with undeniable truths. Just as in history, India separated from Africa and drifted toward Asia, leading to a collision that shaped a vast land and the world's tallest mountains. Looking ahead, we might witness a section of East Africa disconnect and reconnect with India forming a fresh supercontinent and an unprecedented mountain range. India and Africa's fates have long been intertwined, and they persist in sharing more cultural and environmental similarities than most other places on Earth. Perhaps in the future, they could reunite once again. What an extraordinary journey! We hope you found this exploration fascinating, considering the potential for Africa and India to reunite in the future, as they have in the distant past. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.